So, done. Corfu trail finished. Uh, it's a it's a trail through the island of Corfu in Greece. It's about it says people people made probably more variations because it said that it's uh, between 170 and 230 kilometers. I think what I did was around 200. Made it in uh, less than six days, pretty quickly actually. Uh, this, the specifics of this island trail is that even when it's on island most of the time it's through inland so you don't pass that many beaches how you would expect and also those nice views and cliffs and everything it's just the trail is not going through them sometimes it is but not many times and that's uh, quite surprising and I was asking about this and they told me that it's because the Corfu it's quite crowded and it's very touristic area so they wanted to uh, to make the trail through places which are quite remote and actually this was the most remote hike I have ever done I have never I probably never met anyone on the trail like in town and cities yeah sure but on the trail itself which is mostly in forests and, and forest paths and meadows and stuff like that. There was nobody. <laughs> I met a dog, lost dog again, but uh, no people, which is actually really, really nice. It's a very lonely hike and I loved it. I loved it for this reason. But also, um, what's not nice on this trail is i don't know if it's in general but i think it is general that greeks are not very clean like not clean but you know they they threw rubbish everywhere and there is rubbish and trash and like everything everywhere like you, you go in the forest and they are cars which somebody didn't want and they just threw it in the in the forest and it's not, not just one, they are, there are dozens of those cars. It's like in some post-apocalyptic movie, like in Last of Us, you know, those cars in the middle of the forest and, and the vegetation is growing through them. It's just like that. But unfortunately, it's not just this. There is everything. They are all toilets, you know, and, and concrete and everything, everywhere, everywhere. It's everywhere. And not only in the... On the trail in in, uh, in remote areas but also in towns and cities everywhere you look there is trash and rubbish and i was asking about this and people said that this is actually uh, the same on most greek islands and it's the same on crete i don't know why i've never seen anything like this ever that bad really there is trash everywhere that's i don't like that at all the trail itself is uh quite easy there is not that much elevation uh, I, I was quite fast so i had about 1000 meters up every day but if but first day I, I went 45 kilometers but if you go normally around 20 kilo, 20 kilometers per day uh, that's not that much elevation that's 500 600 meters up and that's okay but it's very hot so it's not that easy and and very humid so it's not that pleasant fortunately most of the trail is uh, through through the forest so there is a lot of shadow and uh, that makes it easier on the other hand those forests they are totally crowded by spiders and their spider nets and not just spiders somewhere on the ground but they they make nets through the through the paths but sometimes those paths they are like very often those paths are very narrow which means that uh, <laughs> you just can't avoid that spider net those, those spider nets they are going just like this and you can't go under you can't jump over it so you have to push through it and uh, 
<laughs> so many times you just won't see it so you will eat the spider like i ate many spiders and they are quite big so this is one thing which i didn't like but that's you can't do anything with that but uh, most like mostly people who ate spiders <laughs> they will have tough time on Kung Fu Trail and another thing is that um, did you do you believe that this fella will have will be 19 this year 19 years grandpa mm. what I was saying yeah spiders so really they are you don't like blueberries oh you do no you don't so so if you hate spiders you have tough time and also mosquitoes like so many mosquitoes it's impossible to wild, wild camp without a tent it's impossible don't even think about it don't even try it because they are so many like even when you set up the tent which is few minutes they will bite you so hard that you will scratch all night and then when you will be in the tent you will see those shadows of mosquitoes they were like sitting on the tent like desperately trying to get inside which is satisfying and not satisfying at the same time but not possible totally not possible to sleep under the stars on whole corfu because so many mosquitoes and also it's quite humid and even when it's not raining the mornings are very wet so on the south part of the Corfu island when I woke up the tent was completely wet from the inside it was nearly dripping from the inside of the tent how humid it was so very humid and about the animals uh, they are not that many but uh, one thing worth mentioning is uh, are vipers because on Corfu, Corfu Island they are the most venomous vipers in Europe so really not good <laughs> the good idea to get bitten by those actually I felt like they are very scared I saw many vipers and just every time just they were just crawling away very quickly they they see you sooner than you so uh, I think it's uh, very hard to get bitten by a wiper you have to surprise them I don't know how because they all you always see them somewhere like one two meters before crawling away very quickly so they are scared more than you are but uh, once I slipped and fell to the bush to the bush and something bit me I had no idea what was that but it got swollen it got completely red here I was so scared that, that it was a viper so I rushed to the closest town and then I was just waiting there and like is it that there will be some I don't know you know you will feel bad you will feel to vomit I don't know I was just waiting and I was really scared that it was a viper but it was just burning and uh, uh, unpleasant bite but uh, it wasn't viper it wasn't a viper fortunately but yeah and about the snakes there are so many snakes and huge snakes you know there was a I, w I saw a snake this thick like real, like maybe even more like this thick, nearly like my form my skinny form forearm huge over two meters big orange dark dark orange brownish snake and also some gray ones and other than that there are tortoises a lot of insects when i was swimming in the sea i've never seen any fish even one so that's it yeah and um, uh, one more thing about that that loneliness so if you want to see some the best places like the best views and the best beaches on on Corfu definitely find it on the map and go there take a you know take a hike or hitchhike a car uh, a hitch uh, to get there because because on the Corfu trail you miss them you will miss most of these and another thing which I didn't like was that uh, I would say over half of the paths were on concrete roads even when those roads were in forests 
still like I wouldn't expect this so even if it's in remote areas most or, or over half of the trail is on concrete roads I had to move the camera to the shadow because it's so hot it's over 30 degrees here and it was overheating so I had to move the camera anyways how to get to the trail it starts in Cavos on the south and it goes all, all over to the north part and to get to the point you need to take a bus which is the bus station is about uh, two kilometers from the from the airport and it goes like every two hours so you can go you can go anytime to Cavos you have to buy tickets in the bus from the driver or there is a lady who, who is just walking around and taking money but uh, yeah by the bus and from the northern northwest part northern part and there is a bus also going to Cavos uh, which was completely full completely full of people and uh, also you have to buy a tickets uh, from the from the driver so easy to get to the trail easy to get back to the to the town I highly recommend in Corfu if you will need to stay overnight it's called uh, local hostel and suits very very nice and affordable hostel probably the best one I've visited very clean very nice people nice kitchen everything and very affordable so if you need to stay overnight in the Corfu town I highly recommend this one other than that there is no need to transport uh, during the hike so you just walk through about weather well I went uh, in June half of the June it was very hot but weird is you don't like blueberries it was very hot but weird is that the uh, you get don't get burned from the sun it's it's very strong sun I, I had a sunscreen with me but I just didn't get burned maybe because part of the time you are just uh, in the forest and in the shadow but even on the sun you don't get your, don't get burned but uh, nights were very warm over 20 degrees so <laughs> you can't get even into the sleeping bag because it would melt and during the day it was up to 30 degrees so good for swimming not so good for hiking I had only one rain during one night other than that not much but the Corfu is well known by a lot of rain in early spring so for this reason I went at the beginning of the summer to avoid the rainy season no, the trail is, I don't know how to describe the, how it's marked, because it's very variable. Sometimes it's okay, but sometimes you will just look for something, uh, some, some trail mark, and you won't see them. And it's, uh, it's not consistent at all, because sometimes it's on the stone, sometimes on the tree, sometimes on the rock, sometimes on the path, sometimes on some pole, you know, it's always somewhere else. And the other thing is that uh, it's never on straight, straight paths. It's always on crossroads. So the only tra trail marks are all on crossroads. So basically what you have to do is just find the, the yellow, it's a yellow, yellow trail mark. You just find it, you go by it straight until you get to the crossroad. And then you look around like an idiot. And sometimes you're just looking and you don't see anything. And you know, find teeny tiny somewhere by the rock, but sometimes I, I couldn't find anything. And I was acting with people which I met and they had the same impression from it. So without the map, I wouldn't recommend it because you would get lost. Even I get, got lost a few times 
because I just couldn't see a trail mark and there was just okay this is a this is a straight path it has to be there no I went one kilometer farther the wrong way so take a map with you because it's not very very well marked and it's inconsistently marked so sometimes you will feel that uh, yeah this is this is well marked trail it's, this is so easy and they then you get lost and then there are parts when you would just search for something and you can't find anything with stocking up and water it's super easy on Corfu trail because first of all you are passing villages all the time several times per day and the water is not in the nature but in all villages it's easy and they are even there isn't tap water you know so you can just take a tap water on, on some house and you have free source so taking two liters is more than enough even in late uh, spring or early summer not needed to take more if you drink enough in uh, in the towns so but don't take a filter it's not needed there are i think i saw only one water source on a whole trail it makes no sense actually i was very uh, nicely surprised by my locals they are very nice <laughs> the the sweetest hello on the world is a Greek hello. It's called Kalimera. Kalimera. It's so sweet. Just everybody saying Kalimera. And people are very friendly. Once I forgot to to say hello and old lady, she was like 18, she said it so angry. The Kalimera. She said it so angry. Like, don't forget again, guy. So yeah, but very friendly people. I had only one uh, not pleasant encounter when I was on the remote beach, very uh, on the side by the rocks, and I always swim naked. And there were just two guys, and they were super, super rude on me because of that. It was the only bad experience, but maybe those were tourists, I don't know. Other than that, very friendly people, very friendly locals. Uh, in all shops you can pay by card, which is convenient. As for uh, for meals, that was a different story because, at least for me, because Greeks are not very vegan friendly. So I think that in restaurants there is one meal which they have for vegans, and those are stuffed peppers. You know, the peppers, and inside there is rice and some spices. So that's like a safe meal, but even this they didn't have in every every bar or restaurant. What I can really recommend is a restaurant called, called Henry's Bar. No, Henry's Taverna. Henry, Henry's Taverna. It's at the end of the trail, just very close to the bus station or bus stop, which you want to take uh, to Corfu Town. I found it by Google reviews because people were saying they have vegan options and they are nice and I wasn't uh, I wasn't unhappy. The owner was super nice. We we're talking. He said actually that they had this this taverna for three generations already and they they are passing it on. They had many vegan options. It was affordable. It was a very beautiful place. I highly recommend to have your last meal on the hike in Henry's Taverna. Other than that, there are bars and restaurants everywhere. You will have no, prob no, no the problem if you are not vegan. If you are vegan, you will have to just go and try because not everywhere they have those options. So, that's it. I like the trail, but because of the rubbish and many pavement roads it wasn't the best hike I've ever made so like I'm, I don't mean this in a bad way but Greek Greeks are living their own worlds you know because like in the in the bus the driver is smoking no problem most of the people like 90% of the people on motorbikes then don't wear helmets so it's really and, and the trash everywhere so it's really different world but still worth exploring so nice trail i would recommend it if you 
don't mind heat, don't mind mosquitoes, don't mind spiders. If you like uh, inline hikes, because there are not that many views and cliffs and beaches, and also there are not that many mountains. Actually, there is only one mountain area, and it's by the uh, highest point of the Corfu Island. There it feels like mountain area, and it was actually probably the best part for me, like those last 30 kilometers, very mountainy area. But yeah, other than that, night hike, uh, enjoyed it, it was quite easy and very, very lonely, which is perfect for me for an introvert. So if you are enjoying loneliness, you will enjoy this hike, definitely. That's it, my next destination, Switzerland, Tour de Mont Blanc.